is July 26th Redemption Day. Well, let's talk about this. So in 2023, this year, the 9th of Av is on July 26th. It falls on July 26th. What is the 9th of Av? Um, that is an annual fast day in Judaism where a number of disasters in Jewish history have occurred, two of them being the destruction of both temples. So let's read about this quick. Both Solomon's temple by the Neo-Babylonian Empire was destroyed, and the second temple by the Roman Empire in Jerusalem. Also, you might not be aware that World War I was declared declared on the 9th of Av in 1914. And World War II and 1941 didn't exactly begin on the 9th of Av, but just right around that date was when the troops were gathered for that war. So let's also talk about some things in the news that are taking place right now. So yesterday on Sunday, NATO called Ukrainian troops to abandon the front lines and have all troops return to the cities immediately to seek shelter. So something is about to happen. Also, there are rumors of the US dollar being recalled on July 26th. Now, you know, we've been hearing about this. We know it's coming. We don't know exactly when, but the rumors are there will be a stock market crash on July 26th and the US dollar will be recalled. We'll have to see and wait and see what happens. Also, there is supposed to be a Ukrainian NATO council meeting on the 26th. Also on the 26th, the House Oversight Committee will hold a UFO hearing aiming for maximum disclosure to the public about aliens. The Senate Majority Leader really wants to carry a presumption of immediate disclosure to the public. Come on, folks. I'm just going to let that sink in for you guys for a few seconds while I gather my thoughts. Moving on. So let me say this. Many of you that I'm talking to already know this. A lot of you don't. But all born again believers are about to be snatched away and taken out of this world. Now, don't take my word for it. Take God's word for it. It's all right there in the word of God. So my suggestion to you is to, rather than argue with me about it, take God's word seriously and prepare your heart to be right with him and pray that you are counted worthy to go. None of us are worthy of the rapture. None of us are even worthy of heaven. But because of Jesus Christ, he died in our place so that we would never have to suffer the coming wrath, the wrath that's coming upon the world. So if you're right that there is no rapture, I haven't lost anything. I believe in God's word and I will continue to watch for him to come for me or I'll die and go to heaven, whichever comes first. But if you're wrong and there is a rapture, you have your eternal life at stake. Before I dive into this a little further about the rapture, let's just state a really cool and fun fact. July 26th, 7 to 6. That number in the Strong's Concordance in the Greek is the word harpazo. The word harpazo means to snatch away, caught up, to take by force. That word translated in Latin is rapturo. In English, that's where we get the word rapture from. It's trans translated in English as rapture. So for those of you that want to say rapture isn't real, it's not even in the Bible, you are correct. The word rapture is not there, but the translation of the word harpazo 
the word that's found in the original Greek text is caught up. Okay, so that is the rapture. If you're looking for the word rapture, that's why you won't find it, because in the original text, the word was harpazo. And it's just really cool that the number to the translation in the Strong Concordance happens to be 726. That's cool, right? So let me make this loud and clear. I am not saying that the rapture is on July 26th. First of all, I am not a prophet. And even if I were, the Holy Spirit will never give anyone the day or the hour because if he did, he would be going against his very word that says no one knows the exact date or the hour. That said, we cannot deny the signs that are unfolding in the world, the events that are unfolding and the signs that Jesus told us to look for at the end are all converging. Headlines are literally lining up with biblical prophecy. And so we have to consider these very high watch times. We are in a very high watch season. And so this is how we know that our departure is very soon. And even if 726 comes and goes, we need to consider what's coming up in September with the UN convening to confirm a seven year covenant with many, which is seems to be lining up with the Daniel 927 prophecy. Folks, there are so many things happening this year. We really need to be paying attention and watching like Jesus said to watch for him. God told us in Hebrews 10.25 that we would see the day approaching. So this message is not to scare you, it's to prepare you. Jesus gave a promise to his faithful church, all born again believers in Revelation 3.10 to keep us from the hour of trial that is going to come upon this whole earth and test the inhabitants, the inhabitants, those who dwell on the earth, not us, the church's home is in heaven, not on this earth. He promises to keep us from what is coming. The only thing holding back the evil from fully coming into full force is the restrainer. Once the restrainer is removed out of the way, that is when all of this will take place. The seven year tribulation is at the door right now. The restrainer is holding back all hell from literally breaking loose and that seven year period of judgment. There will be 21 judgments poured out upon the earth and man during this seven year period. Us watchmen everywhere are calling you to salvation right now before it's too late. And it's not that you can't get saved during the tribulation. It's gonna be super hard super hard to get saved. There will be no Holy Spirit filled churches on the planet at all. And you won't be able to have a Bible in your possession because you will be under full control of the Antichrist. This is a call to action right now, a call to salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Change that today. Put your faith and trust in the Savior. I have scriptures in the description box and a link about how to be saved, how simple it is. The gospel is very simple. And go to the description box to find that out. And if you're watching on my TikTok, come to the YouTube channel to get the links, or I do have a video pinned at the top of my channel that you can watch about how to get saved. We love you and Jesus loves you. And there's about to be the biggest family reunion in all of history in the sky on the day of our redemption.